students now we'll be seeing about the different indian and international cuisines cuisine is a specific art of cooking traditions and practices often associated with a specific culture a cuisine is primarily influenced by the ingredients that are available locally or through trade religious food laws can also have a strong influence on cuisine objective at the end of this lesson you will be able to understand the meaning of cuisine and different types of indian and international cuisine know the specialty dishes of different types of cuisines and spices and cooking methods specific to each cuisine now we will see the different types of indian cuisine culinary history of india includes the skills historical and regional influences religion and caste also play a role in influencing the indian cuisine spices are the very heart of indian cooking the art of indian cuisine lies not in high spicing but in the delicacy of spicing the basis of an indian meal are rice wheat or millet depending on the region it is generally eaten with lentils or pulses vegetables pickles or chutneys now we will see about the different type of north indian cuisine punjabi cuisine the dishes are rich and have a distinctive flavor punjabis use a large amount of ghee in their dishes some famous punjabi dishes include batura chole sarson ki saag makki ki roti kurmas rajma parathas halwa gukki matta etc uttar pradesh cuisine exceptional feature of avadi tradition of cooking in uttar pradesh is the dum cooked process of preparing food in this exclusive style food is sealed in large pots called handi and placed over slow fire allowing the ingredients to be cooked in their own juices famous foods in uttar pradesh cuisine include Lucknow biryani kebab tahri and nargishi kofta lassi ru afza shahi tukda and peda kashmir cuisine the dishes of kashmir cuisine is very rich and lots of fruit nut saffron maize and nutmeg are added in every dish a few famous kashmiri dishes are narari soup khajina that is scrambled egg ambade ke baji mango baji and khali that is a meat dish mutton chicken or fish is of prime importance in kashmir meal along with rice and everyday cooking often combines vegetables and meat in the same dish popular vegetarian dishes include dum aloo and chanan fried paneer the desserts served usually are firni and halwa green tea flavored with saffron cardamom and almonds now let us see about the different types of west indian cuisine gujarati cuisine it is the haven of vegetarians their dishes have a sweet taste they add a little sugar even to salty dishes millet barley and wheat are widely used kaman dokla a steamed dish is highly popular Nasto is made from Bengal gram flour mixed it with an assortment of spices and then fried chivdas are also popular other gujarati dishes include batata shak khadi khandvi undiya dud pak etc maharashtra cuisine groundnuts and seasoned seeds are widely used in maharashtrian dishes along with peanut oil the maharashtrian curries usually have a thin gravy using tamarind for sweetness and they also add coconut the popular dishes of maharashtrian cuisine include gopla cha butcha gopla cha panchamrit masala ichi vengi vada pav bhangada curry sabudana vada sheera modaka puran poli etc govan cuisine fish is widely eaten the govanese food is spicy and sour kokum a sour fruit is widely used in dishes some popular govan dishes are govan prawn masala 
ఫోర్ వెండాలు గోవన్ ఫిష్ కర్రీ చికెన్ జకుటి ఎక్సెట్రా నౌ లెట్ ఎస్ సీ ద డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ సౌత్ ఇండియన్ క్విజీన్ సౌత్ ఇండియన్ క్విజీన్ ఇస్ డిస్టింగ్విష్ బై అ గ్రేటర్ ఎంఫసిస్ ఆన్ రైస్ యాజ్ అ స్టేపుల్ గ్రెయిన్ ద లిబరల్ యూజ్ ఆఫ్ కోకోనట్ కోకోనట్ ఆయిల్ అండ్ కర్రీ లీవ్స్ సౌత్ ఇండియన్ కుకింగ్ ఇస్ మోర్ వెజిటేరియన్ ఫ్రెండ్లీ దాన్ నార్త్ ఇండియన్ ఆంధ్ర క్విజీన్ సమ్ ఫేమస్ ఫుడ్ ఆఫ్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ ఆర్ పులిహర ఆర్ టామరన్ రైస్ పెసరట్టు మేడ్ విత్ గ్రీన్ గ్రామ్ బగారా బెంగన్ కాకినాడ కాజా ఎక్సెట్రా పిక్కిల్స్ అండ్ చట్నీస్ మెయిన్లీ ఆవకాయ్ మేడ్ విత్ మ్యాంగోస్ ఆర్ అ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆంధ్ర మీల్ హైదరాబాది బిర్యానీ అండ్ కబాబ్ ఆర్ ఫేమస్ నాన్ వెజిటేరియన్ ఫుడ్ ఆఫ్ ఆంధ్ర క్విజీన్ తమిళనాడు క్విజీన్ తమిళనాడు హెస్ అ నంబర్ ఆఫ్ వెజిటేరియన్ అండ్ నాన్ వెజిటేరియన్ డిషెస్ to tantalize a global palate an array of spices and condiments play important role in tamil nadu cuisine some of the essential ingredients of the vegetarian dishes of tamil nadu are coconut tamarind and asafoetida most meals consist of rice in any form as the main course with different vegetable dishes and lentils cooked as accompaniment for rice sambar and rasam are an important part of tamil nadu meal a number of spices such as cloves cardamom cinnamon pepper and chilies are used to flavor and bring out the unique flavor of dishes no account of cuisines of tamil nadu can be complete without the mention of idlis dosas and vadas payasam is a common dessert of tamil nadu to end a heavy meal Karnataka cuisine Karnataka dishes have a sweet taste to everything Some famous Karnataka recipes include bisibela bath akki roti kosambari uppittu chitranna koli saaru that is chicken curry Karnataka style mutton curry Karnataka style etc Kerala cuisine rice is consumed in all the meals in one form or the other fish is consumed in a variety of ways coconut and coconut oil is used extensively in kerala cuisine famous dishes of kerala include appam avil banana chips kadalai curry etc bengali cuisine rice is a staple cereal fish is very popular and the dishes are prepared with mustard oil poppy seeds are used in some preparations it gives a distinct flavor and taste Mishti doi that is sweetened yogurt is very popular in Bengali cuisine. Other popular dishes are muri, luchi that is deep fried bread, singaras or samosas, sandesh and other Bengali sweets. Let us see the different types of international cuisines. French cuisine. It is recognized by the world as one of the finest cuisines. The French are known for their artistic temperament and so is their cuisine french cooking is less complicated while cooking the garnishes served are more complex it has a delicate flavor as spices are used more sparingly to just tease the palate if they are incorporated in the diet great emphasis is laid on sauces and it is also known as sauce cookery every ingredient speaks its own language the most important is to use only the best ingredients and the proper blend of color and taste of ingredients garnishes and accompaniments play a key role in french cuisine and dishes are identified by them food items are cooked in sauces or they accompany a dish example roast beef is served with yorkshire pudding and is accompanied by or radish sauce great emphasis is laid on the presentation of dishes and garnishes and accompaniments make the dish colorful the cooking medium used is butter olive oil or salad oil thus the dishes are not greasy but give a lightness to the taste spices and herbs give a stable flavor taste and originality to the dish Some of the spices and herbs used in French cuisine are parsley, celery, basil, thyme, rosemary,
skies, shallots, bay leaves, paprika, pepper, nutmeg, etc. Vegetables are served with main courses and served as one of the accompaniments. They act as fillers to meat dishes. They add color to the menu. A meal is completed with potatoes as they give a satiety value. They also accompany the main dish. Popular continental vegetables are asparagus, artichokes, carrots, turnips, broccoli, sweets, Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, etc. The main dish consists of flesh foods such as lamb, beef, veal, pork, chicken, duck, turkey, fish, etc. The fleshy foods should be of the best quality. Cheese is extensively used and can be used as a base of a dish or to garnish and blend with soups. Grated cheese is also sprinkled on top of the dishes. Few popular cheeses used are camembert, roquefort, etc. Wine, both red and white, used for cooking, enhance the taste and give an unusual flavor. This being a unique feature of French cuisine. Wine is much more than a flavoring agent if used with discretion. It gives an unmistakable exotic flavor to the simplest dishes and also used in marinades. It also acts as tenderizer for the drier and toughest cuts of meat. Italian Cuisine Italians usually start their meal with a soup or salad. Not a heavy soup or an elaborate salad. Just a simple broth or a vegetable soup and the salad greens with olive oil and some vinegar or lemon. Pasta is the main dish which is eaten with vegetables, tomato sauce or a sprinkle of cheese. Salt water fish is part of Italian diet. Italians use cheese as a condiment to finish a dessert or a dessert to nibble at the end of a meal. Italians are big fruit eaters including it in nearly every meal. Italy is identified not only for its pasta and pizza but other national specialities like gargonzola, parmesan and ricotta. The herbs used in Italian cuisine include parsley, rosemary, basil, oregano and mint. Spanish cuisine Garlic and olive oil is used extensively in all Spanish dishes. Abundantly available foods such as rice, figs, citrus fruits, almonds and spices are extensively used in Spanish cooking. Spain's classic dish, paella, is a hearty combination of sausages, chicken, seafood, rice and vegetables seasoned with saffron and olive oil. Olives are used as snacks, salads or sliced for pizza. It's also used as appetizers and in pasta and sauces. Mexican cuisine. Mexican cuisine includes nachos, tacos, tortillas and enchilada all served with spicy salsa or melted cheese. Other Mexican foods are chicken mole that is chicken cooked in a chocolate sauce and ceviche fresh raw seafood in a citrus dressing. Chinese cuisine. The Chinese have a strong sense of artistry which finds impression in Chinese cooking. Every aspect of food is taken into consideration. Palatability, texture, fragrance and color. Every dish is given proportion, balance and harmony. The Chinese sort, steam, deep fry and roast with a difference. Baking is rarely done. Stir frying is the most popular method of cooking. It is similar to sorting but it is done with intense heat. It is because of the short cooking time that fresh food have to be used as they need less cooking time. The heat seeds the juices and preserves the color and texture. The ingredients are combined and contrasted. Cold tiny ingredients against big ones. Dry dishes against those with gravies, sweet taste is contrasted with 
tart taste. Crisp tender vegetables surrounded with exquisitely smooth sauces stimulate the senses with contrasting taste. Basic ingredients that give the Chinese cooking its characteristic tastes are soya sauce, chili sauce, vinegar, corn flour, monosodium glutamate or MSG, noodles, bamboo shoots, bean sprouts, dried shrimp, tofu, etc. Five regional cuisines predominate in Chinese cookery. Cantonese or Southeast, Shantung style, Sichuan style, Ponon style and Fukin style. Here are some commonly used methods in Chinese cooking. One dish may require one, two or three cooking methods. Each will produce a different effect. Suvan or quick or rapid boiling. This simple cooking method is often used for making soup. Bring the water or stock to boil over high heat. Add the ingredients and seasoning. Serve as soon as the soup reboils. No thickening agent is needed and the vegetable will be fresh and crisp. Suvan or instant boiling or rinsing. Thinly sliced ingredients are dipped into boiling water for a second or two, occasionally dunking it as if rinsing. Then it is served with a dip sauce. This cooking method keeps the ingredient fresh and tender. A stewing. Flavor a little hot oil with spring onion and ginger root. Then stir fry the ingredients for a short time. Now add stock or water and seasoning. Simmer over a low heat. The food should be soft and tender. Sui braising or assembling. It is a method of cooking a dish that consists of several different ingredients. Stir fry the ingredients first. Add stock or water and seasoning. Boil over high heat for a short while. Then thicken the gravy before serving. Alternatively, prepare the gravy first. Then add the partly cooked ingredients which is either deep fried or steamed. Cook over low heat, thicken and serve. Ban mixing salad. This method actually does not involve any cooking but simply calls for cutting the raw or cooked ingredients and dressing it with seasoning. Cold salad dressings are soya sauce, vinegar and seasoned seed oil. Yang or hot salad. Here the raw ingredients are parboiled or blanched first, then dressed with seasoning. Hot salad dressings are shredded ginger, peppercorns, salt, sugar and seasoned oil. Yang or pickling. Pickle the food with salt and sugar or with salt and wine. Dishes prepared this way have a subtle fragrance and crispness. Jian or shallow frying. A flat bottom pan is used with little oil and medium or low heat. Seasonings are added when food is half done. The pan should be turned from time to time during cooking so that heat is evenly distributed. The Chinese restaurants serve dishes which have mixed styles of cooking. Cantonese is the most popular all over the world with Sichuan being the second popular style. Japanese cuisine. The Japanese use varieties of fish, seafood and seaweed. They also make use of the tender sprouts and leaf tips of many plants. Many mildly seasonal vegetables are served with a highly spiced sauce into which each bite is dipped before eating. Traditional Japanese cuisine includes steamed rice, miso soup, sukudni, which is small fish or seaweed served with soya sauce, raw or grilled eggs. Grilled fish such as dried horse mackerel and natto, a food made from fermented soya beans which has a powerful smell, strong flavor and sticky consistency. Indonesian cuisine. The Indonesian cuisine is a rich and complex blend of many cultures reflecting the variety of islands across Indonesian archipelago. The cuisine has a distinctive taste and style of cooking with its selection of ingredients and spices. 
Some of the well-known Indonesian dishes are gado gado that is vegetables with peanut sauce, nasi goreng that is fried rice, sambal that is spice relishes, steak grilled squares of meat served with peanut sauce and soto or soup. For ordinary people, a meal usually includes soup, salad and main dishes accompanied by two sambals. Korean cuisine. In spite of the similarity to Chinese and Japanese cuisines, in many basic ingredients, Korean food is different from that of China and Japan. One main difference is the liberal use of red chilli, fresh, dried and powdered and the traditional Korean chilli paste, kachujang. Pickles are an important part of Korean cuisine. Apart from the cold pickles like the famous kimchi, there are a number of cooked relishes. There is a great emphasis upon meat unlike other Southeast Asian cuisines. Thailand cuisine. Many of the finest professional cooks are women, a custom that began because only women could be employed in the palace apartments of the Siamese wife. The first preparation step for any Thai cuisine is grinding together with mortar and pestle, the garlic, hot chilies and spices to form a seasoning paste. Cooking is done ahead of time and foods are served at room temperature. The spices used in Thai cuisine include basil, cinnamon, crushed red pepper, garlic powder, ground ginger, mint, turmeric and whole red chilli. Sri Lankan cuisine Sri Lanka uses spices liberally in their dishes and this is what gives the dishes the exuberance and the aroma they are known for. The typical Sri Lankan flavour is due to heavy roasting of spice until they reach a rather dark colour giving the Sri Lankan curries a darker, browner flavour than Indian curries. The spices used in Sri Lankan cuisine include cumin seeds, coriander seeds, black mustard, fenugreek, curry leaves, pandan leaves, lemongrass, coconut milk and cinnamon. Malaysian cuisine Malay food is hot and spicy with chilies. Malays eat rice at every meal and they eat more seafood and less pork than other Asians because most Malays are Muslims. They love rich desserts to end the meal. Satay is an exotic Malaysian dish which is famous worldwide in which cubed meat on skewers is basked with soya sauce and oil as it grills, then served with hot sauce of chili, spices and peanuts. People in Malaysia often have coffee or tea with condensed milk known as tariq. Other beverages taken are malted drinks, plain barley, Chinese tea, green tea, hot soya drinks, fresh juice or fresh milk. Middle Eastern Cuisine Middle Eastern cooking, though sometimes elaborate, is easy. Some of the dishes such as stuffed wine leaves may take some time to prepare. Lamb, mince is the favourite meat eaten. Cheap cuts of meat are used extensively. Alcohol is not used owing to the Muslim dietary law. Vegetables are used in abundance. Wine leaves, pine nuts, lentils, chickpeas, bitter herbs, olives, figs, grapes, raisins, dates and almonds are extensively used in Middle Eastern cuisine. Veal and beef are cooked with spinach and vinegar. All kinds of game and poultry are part of this cuisine. Meat is usually marinated with yogurt and flavoured with spices. Almond pastry is popular. Dates are stuffed with almonds and walnuts. A large variety of spices are used. Commonly used spices are cumin seeds, coriander seeds, cinnamon, ginger, hot pepper, and seeds, seasoned seeds, ground coriander and fried and crushed garlic. The herbs commonly used are coriander leaves, dill, mint, orivona and marjoram. The following is forbidden. 
use of animals dead before they are slaughtered or those killed for reasons other than that of food blood pig flesh alcoholic or fermented liquids australian cuisine most australian meals have as their main ingredient meat chicken or seafood the quality of australian produce is high so even a simple meals of grilled chops and vegetable is a culinary treat a famous australian dish is the carpet back steak a jain piece of thick rump steak split down in the middle and stuffed with few oysters seasoned with salt pepper and lime juice and baked dishes made from sydney rock oysters snappers and barramundi fish plain steaks and roast lambs are eaten in abundance by australians sweet melba meringue and passion fruit cake are some famous desserts the most popular australian foods include kangaroo steak that is loin of kangaroo fillet are used and roasted and say biscuits they are made with rolled oats coconut flour sugar golden syrup soda bicarbonate and water meat pie individual minced meat pieces small in size balmain bugs unusually shaped flat crustacean usually barbecued or boiled billy tea tea made in a tin can called a billy over an open fire damper basic bread made simply with flour and water kneaded shaped into a round and cooked on the coals of a fire made on the ground lamingtons pieces of light sponge cake dipped in chocolate icing and coconut new zealand cuisine marinated raw fish is common in new zealand the maori influence is seen in new zealand cuisine the maori way of cooking meat fish and root vegetables is in an earth oven or hangi a hole is dug in the ground they are wrapped in flax leaves and placed on fiery stone on top nuka or tea tree which gives a special flavor is used as a fuel water is poured to produce steam and then the oven is sealed with special mats and earth several hours later the food is cooked to perfection the climate guarantees an extensive range of fruits the most being the kiwi fruit tamarillos or tree tomatoes and passion fruit to conclude some of the world cuisine recipes have become part of indian cuisine either in the same form or in a modified form world cuisine recipes can be incorporated with discretion in indian diet thank you